Hello friends, in this video we will see how the RSCSA exam looks like with the help of the graphical presentation. So without wasting your time, let's start this video. I will keep the PDF which will show you how the RSCSA exam looks like and how the interface of the RSCSA exam have. So here you can see when you go to the RSCSA exam, in front of you there is a open desktop or laptop is present. When you just enter a button of this PC or this laptop, very first window here you can show as look like this. Very first username and exam code is asked. So username and exam code is given in your email id. When you schedule the exam, the username and exam code is given in your email. So you can just type here the username of your exam like my username is abcd at the rate 274 and the exam code is ext 4k 2022 after typing here exam code you can just click on the submit button after pressing the submit button the next window is appear on your screen is the instruction window here the all instruction related to your exam is given like how your exam is run how you how the exam is looks like what is the parameter defined in your exam how many questions are asked in exam what is the time period of your exam all instruction related to the RSCSA exam is given here so you so you carefully read this all instruction because without Reading this instruction, you can't solve any of one of the questions of your RSCSA exam. So please carefully read this instruction 10 minutes. Okay. Here you can see there is a small box is present. Here this box is for your chart box. And chart box guide you step by step how to solve the question and how you can run your RSCSA exam. So just click on this chart box. After clicking this chart box, the chart box window is appear on your screen step by step here instruction window is also seen here so in the chart box there are the two small buttons are present in the rightmost corner of your chart box the first button is the breakfast or the lunch time break this button when you take the break you can just type here i want to take a 5 minute break and press this button you will get a 5 to 15 minutes break in that in the side button is the camera button this button is helps to move your camera or helps to enable your camera ok after clicking on the submit button which will present in the instruction window the next screen is appear on your screen is the question paper this is a your question paper and here all the questions related to, to the node 1 and node 2 is given. In the node 1 there are the several questions will be asked. In the node 2 several questions will be asked. So you just to click on your red hat button because when you type the command system CTL isolate graphical window the graphical presentation will be or graphical machine will be present in your screen or graphical linux virtual machine will be open in your screen so you know that there is a topmost uh, left corner red hat icon is present after clicking the red hat icon here some option is enabled like in your virtual machine in your laptop game machine console firewall home and extension so you need to just click on the console button other options are not necessary to remember because we are just using this console button. After clicking the console button, there are few more options are created on your screen. And these options are VM reboot, VM console, VM restart, VM rebuild, VM start and VM stop. Here we only use VM console button and VM reboot button. We do not use any of these buttons. VM restart, VM rebuild, VM start, VM stop. Because these buttons are very dangerous. Because if you click on the VM rebuild, your all the questions which will be solved in the given time will be reset or will be clear. 
that's why we are not using the VM rebuild button. Okay, then VM start button used to start your virtual machine and VM stop button is used to VM stop. But we do not use this button because there is no necessary use of this button. Only we use the VM console and VM button. Okay. So you can click on the VM console button after VM after pressing the VM console button. There are the, the next window is appear on your screen like that. This is the node one, node two exit. Okay. This window is present on yours. For example, if you want to solve the node one question, configure a network. So you can just click on the node one button, and then again this window is up here. Just click on the VM console button. Okay. After pressing the VM console, your terminal is open like that. This is the node one terminal, and this is the question paper. Okay. Side by side, your question paper is also visible. You can just click this screen. According to your access table, like I am mean, here splitting the screen, like here is the my terminal and here is my question paper. Okay, so you can just solve all the questions related to the node one here. In the many cases, you need to reboot your system. So then you can just type on node one and then you can use this button VM reboot. Okay, not use VM rebuild because this button clear everything which will be present in your system. Okay. For the rebooting, you just use VM reboot. After pressing this button, your system will be rebooted because several questions need to be rebooting the system. Okay. Then after that, you need to solve the node two question. Here are the node two question. There are the this question you need to solve on the node two having the domain name dash 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 dash. Okay. So just pressing the node two button, then VM console, you are node 2 here terminal is open at this time this is the terminal of your node 2 okay side by side node 2 question is present you need to solve this question on this terminal if you want to reboot then press this reboot button after everything you solve here the chat box icon is also present you need to just type here submit my test in the chat box okay this is a chat box in the chat box here you can see submit my text here you can just type submit my text okay and if you want to take a 15 minute break just you can type here i want to take some break or you can just press at the first button of your chat box you will get 15 minute break only 15 minute break you will give okay and if you if you want to submit your test just type here submit my test after typing the submit my test, just enter the button. Chat box says that your exam is over. You can go your home. That means your exam is over. And this is the interface of our RSCS exam. There is no any video present in your YouTube. That's why I am creating this video for you. And guys, best of luck for your future exam. And this is the last video of our session. And one more question is left. This is a container question. We will solve later, or we can see in the PDF format because this question is a very big question and there is no setup present in my screen. That's why I am not solving here. But after this, we solve this question. Okay. So thank you guys. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel. And again, thank you.